I mean, around here, we are documented miracles every single day for over two weeks right here on the campus of your breakthrough. This is Miracle Season, when resurrection power comes alive. A resurrection a season uh -huh. where you're going to see things transpire in your life Ooh. like you've never, ever seen it before. Your new breakthrough starts now. Well, what a joy to welcome all my wonderful, wonderful friends, all my partners around the world, and this beautiful studio audience right here in the high definition studios of your breakthrough. This is our Easter resurrection edition of your new breakthrough. We are celebrating the reality of the resurrection of Jesus Christ when miracles, astounding miracles are abounding all around us. In 2018, I believe with all my heart, God is accelerating the miraculous. Do you believe that? Yeah. I mean, around here, we have documented miracles every single day for over two weeks right here on the campus of your breakthrough. I'm fasting. Tens of thousands of us are fasting together. We're praying every day. We're saying the same thing over and over. We're declaring and decreeing the same words before God's throne of grace. And it's all with one thing in mind, making sure you receive your resurrection miracle. Leading up to Easter Resurrection Sunday, where we're all going to believe together, I need you to call. I mean, pick up that phone. That's what God gave it to you for. Pick up that phone and get your request to me because the greatest power available to the believers of Jesus Christ in the earth, the power of agreement. Now, some folks think they can bind and loose. You cannot bind and loose without the power of agreement. If any two or three of you are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. If any two of you agree touching anything that they shall ask, it's all the same three verses and you cannot separate them. So I want to agree with you. Tens of thousands around the world will be agreeing with you as we bring your prayer requests before the throne of grace on Easter resurrection morning. Now you can join me in person right here in the great Summerall Tabernacle World Harvest Church, the home of the Worldwide Breakthrough Ministry, or you can just log on at rodparsley.tv or live on Facebook. We're just everywhere and you need to be a part of it. I have got a treat for you today. I, I've been trying to get him home. He needs to be in America a little bit. He's been all around the world, all over Africa and all, all everywhere, Dubai, everywhere. He's been in Scotland. He's my dear friend. The great Bishop George Bloomer is with me, and we're on a mission today to help you release the power of resurrection life. He's the founder and pastor of Bethel Family Worship Center in Durham, North Carolina, and I'm so glad you're here today. Well, I'm so happy to be here with you, thank Pastor Ponte. Come on, give it up for the man yeah, of God. We love you. Yeah. When I hear the word resurrection, the first thing that comes to my mind mm. uh, is a crucifixion or death. Okay. That something has died. Right. The Bible tells us in Genesis uh, chapter number 26, it says that, you know, uh, it, 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 the land was all barren. Yeah. And uh, Isaac went and sold in the land okay. and received in the same year okay. this double portion. Wow. This, this, the, the Lord began to really, really bless him. Right. So life entered back into the seed. The, all right. The number one thing was that it was a, a, a barren land. Mm. It, 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 it was drought. It, mm. was, it was nothing mm. could grow there. Mm. And yet when he got there, yeah. things changed. <laughs> now this is what I want to say. Talk to the us. earth is created so that when the children of God mm -hmm. steps on it, uh -huh. the earth is designed to genetically alter itself to meet our need. My Jesus. Genetically alter, alter itself. itself to meet our need. Mm -hmm. You take a man or a woman of God and put them anywhere. All right. 
and they have an assignment that comes yes. from God, yeah. and the elements immediately changes because the earth wow. is waiting for the manifestation Who? of the sons of Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. It Hallelujah. Alters, it, <laughs> in the book of Gen in, in the book of Numbers, uh, they, 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 they're told to send uh, two from each tribe to go in and to spy out the land. Right. And they said to bring that back to report, whether they dwell in tents or mm -hmm. strongholds, right. or tell us if the land is lean or if it's fat, mm -hmm. tell us all these things. And so they went to spy out the land which was sworn unto the forefathers, and it's the land that overflows with milk and honey. Okay. And every time we hear that, especially in the Pentecostal church, we start dancing and shouting <laughs> because we're going to the land that overflows with milk and honey. But there's something about the land that overflows with milk and honey. There's some problems in the land. Tell us. Because a lot of times when God gives you a promise, the promise that he gives you has issues because he has given us the anointing oh. to bring order oh. to disorderly places. Oh and so Jesus. they go into the land oh. and they come round about a brook and uh, they notice that everyone who was supposed to be living in the land is no longer there. Wow. They go round about the side and they come up, up to a brook and they look up and the Bible says that they cut down one branch bearing a cluster of grapes. And it was intertwined or uh, concophonized uh. with pomegranates and figs. Now what tree grows pomegranates, figs, Big and and grapes at the same time. And they brought it back. And when they brought it back, when Moses and Caleb, and when they looked at it, they immediately they said, let us go up and take the land for we were able to do it. And the folks who went up there says, ah, we saw Anak and the sons of right. Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own eyes as grasshoppers. But there's something I want you to look at here. Uh, they said, they didn't say that they saw the giants. They saw the sons of the giants and they were grasshoppers in the eyes of the sons of the giants. Can you imagine what the giants look yeah, like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that some of the battles that we're having are not even the battles. They're just the children of the battles. And you ah. need to hold on because hold God on. is going to give you a way out. Ah. Those grapes that were supposed to be able to fit in between your thumb and your index is now the size of a cantaloupe, a size of, 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 of a grapefruit. My and God. people begin to rejoice. But they said in the verse, it says, the land that we went to spy out truly eats up the inhabitants thereof. So the people wasn't eating the fruit of the land, but the, the land, land was, was eating. eating the, the fruit was Ooh. poison Ooh. because giants had ah. entered into the land. Ah. And in this season, ah. God is promising Preach, you Bishop. that if you go into the land ah. to which he has given you to go into, yes, the minute the soles of your feet shall oh. step on the land, oh. it will alter its existence Woo. and breakthrough is going to Hallelujah. be your portion. He said, he said in, 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 in Genesis 26, 13, 14, and 15, it said Isaac sold in the land. But in the Message Bible, it says, and he grew richer and richer by the day and accumulated. Richer and richer by the day. By the the day. devil does not want you to accumulate uh. because he knows that accumulation, accumulation devours lack. Woo. Devours Woo. lack. So he wants you to live, he wants you to live on bare necessities. Uh -huh. But this is That's the it? season that the seed that Jesus. you are about to sow Jesus. is going to be a seed that is going to resurrect Woo. accumulation Hallelujah. in the name of the Lord. He's, he asked the question in Malachi chapter number uh, three, verse number eight. He says, will a man rob God? Because the devil's job is to be the thief. He robs, yes, he steals, he destroys, yes, he kills. Yes, That's yes. his job. He's doing his job well. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and that more abundantly. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, he will open the windows of heaven, pour us out a blessing That's that there should not be room of us for us to receive. But he says, bring the tithe and the offering into the storehouse. Yeah. Why do you need a storehouse? You need a storehouse because of the now accumulation. You're, now you're talking the accumulation Woo! in this seed in this season Woo! God is about to bring us into a place of mass accumulation yes sir this is the season that you are going to have more more than enough Woo! more than enough and it's going to be so much that you're going to have to find people to help, to help them hey! yes money answers all things. That's yes, what the scripture says. So God is telling us that life sometimes can be uh, 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 accumulated. Life, life some can be just like, how, how do I say it? Life today could be just like, uh, you know, Jeopardy. In okay. Jeopardy, they give you the, 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 the answer. Okay. You got to come up with the question. question. The Bible says that money answers all things. Okay. God is looking for people, uh -huh. the saints of God, yeah. that he can trust with accumulation yeah. so he can bring people to you oh, <laughs> come on. that has a question. Come on. 
because you already got the answer. answer. And yeah, Woo! this is the season that accumulation is about to come. God does not want you to be broke. No. He does not want you to be broke. So you need to decree and declare with your seed. Right. With your seed, my broke days are over. over. My broke days are over. There are those of you, glory be to God, Woo! that need to go to the phone and put your hand on a seed. I on. believe, I believe that there are those who are watching today that will put their hands on a $100 seed. I believe that. There's those that put their hand on a $50 I seed. I believe that. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, listen, do not even think about it. This is the moment that your seed yeah, yeah. is going to hit the ground uh -huh. and die. Uh -huh. But when it comes up, Woo! it's coming up with friends. Yeah. It's coming up with partners. Yeah. It's coming up with answers. Yeah. This is your hour and your moment for Jesus. to trust God like never before. Mm. There will never be a resurrection season like the one that is coming. That's true. 2018, That's true. The, 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 the Hebrew calendar, 5778, eight. eight new beginnings, first yes. things, fresh starts. Yes. This is the this season. Is don't miss this right now. There are those of you that are watching. Your seed challenge is a thousand. Yeah. A thousand, a yeah. hundred dollars would never trigger right. certain things for certain people That's who right. are going through certain storms That's in your life. Right. I'll say this. I'll say this. When I was sick and I had that cancer and I was 415 pounds and I was dying, my mother said, get a seed, get sow a seed, seed, and place a demand on the seed. Yes. I had a royalty check for $8,881. Yes. I turned the back of it over, signed my name on it, and sold it into my spiritual father this ministry. Yep. Look at me right now. Right. Get a seed. Sow a seed. Place the demand on the seed and watch God. Watch God give you a harvest that is going to blow your mind. This is your moment. This is this your is season. It. And God wants to be put first. You put him first mm. in your life mm. and he'll show you what he can do with your faithfulness. This is the hour for your seed to be resurrected. Jesus. The crucifixion is over. It's over. You've been laying there still now, long enough. Now. now it's time for you come to come forth, to get up from where come you on. are, go to the phone, sow that seed, yeah. 100, 50, 1,000, yeah. and watch God in this season do miraculous things. The earth is altering itself to meet my need. The earth is altering, altering itself to, to meet, meet my, my need. need. Yes. Now, that's what I heard. The earth is altering itself to meet my need, your need. I heard that. I heard, Bishop, I heard a word from a man of God. And when a word is given, reason is never required. Faith and faith alone have to walk up and open that door. This is 2018, 5778, as Bishop shared with us. It's a significant year because it's a new beginning. It is also the 33rd year since God came down in my one bedroom bachelor apartment and gave me a word to deliver to the body of Christ. Now that was hundreds of millions of dollars ago in people's needs Jesus. being met wow. by a seed sown during resurrection season. Yes. I prophesy to you, businessman, you're about to stop sowing out of your need and start sowing out of your overflow, out of your ex excess. You're coming out of debt. You're coming out of bondage. You're coming out of the Babylonian system. And God has always and God does now deliver with a power that is resident already in a resurrection seed. My God. Here's the thing about what leaves your hand. It's coming back, but it's not coming back like it left. Mm. It's coming back multiplied many times over. Go to your phone right now, write to me, dial that number on your screen, or you can just text BT Seed to 45777. Get your resurrection seed in the ground today because God is accelerating you into overflow. Believe it. Act on it. Do it right now. Experience the miracle working power of a resurrection seed as we celebrate that God gave his very best by sowing our very best resurrection seed this one time every year. Unlock the door to your greatest miracle by sowing before Easter Sunday. For your resurrection seed of $100 or more, Dr. Rod Parsley wants to bless you with his new book, Resurrection Reality, taking you behind the scenes into the origins of this life-changing revelation. 
you'll understand the power you have today because of the resurrection. You'll also receive his new multi-disc ministry set, Resurrection Seed Acceleration, on both CD and DVD. Two new messages of resurrection power and Ashton Parsley's insightful interview about the exciting history of Resurrection Seed, plus the classic sermon series that opened the door to this remarkable move of God, The Laws of Sowing and Reaping on six CDs. Rush your uncommon seed of $1,000 or more into the ground and your name or that of a loved one will be engraved as a lasting legacy at the magnificent Calvary Memorial. And you'll also receive a keepsake replica for your home or office. When you sow $50 or more, you'll receive both Dr. Parsley's new book and ministry series. Everyone who sows their very best resurrection seed will receive Dr. Parsley's new book, Resurrection Reality. Don't delay. Write, call, or text BTC to 45777 with your very best resurrection miracle seed. anointing the earth the earth now here's what we learned in the first segment of this broadcast today the earth is responding and changing itself to meet your need God is Jehovah Yuri he supplies before there's a need so whatever you need in the earth God created the earth then he created the man and put him on it so everything you need is here We've just got to learn to access it. And Bishop George Bloomer of Bethel Family Worship Center in Durham, North Carolina, is going to help you access your increase right now. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. You know, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. thank you so much. You know, my daughter just gave birth to my, to my seventh grandchild. Oh, Jesus. Her uh, name is Zoe. And she was just, just beautiful. And I remember when I first held her in my hand, she looked up at me and the thought came to me, what would baby Zoe say mm. uh, if she could talk right. 20 minutes after coming out of the womb, after being in there for those many months? Mm. Because in the womb, she, they, they've seen her through the ultrasound, uh, sucking her thumb and right. flipping. She, she doesn't know that there's a world that exists outside, outside of that until one day the water breaks and she begins to push and Come stress and, and to find a, a way out. And sees a little entrance and goes for it, wow. and there she is into a room. And when the baby is crying, they think the baby's crying because life, but the baby's crying because you see all these funny looking people and the sounds and the noise, and she's frightened to death, does not understand. Well, God is about to birth something out of those of you who are watching Talk today. To us. Your storms and your trials that you have been in over the past nine or ten months, uh -huh. mm -hmm, uh -huh. they're coming to an end. All right. Your water has broken. Jesus. And you, you, you're you just going through a season of uh -huh. contraction. See, the seed that pl God places in your hand uh -huh. is not for your consumption. No. It's to grow you a forest that's there going to take go. care of you for years to come. That's, that's why I'm talking about accumulation today Jesus. accumulation wherever your soles of your feet shall tread automatically the earth around you begins to say what do you want me to give to you what do you out the words that you speak out of your mouth is creative words right. you're made in the image and the likeness of God right. so you shall have what you say you say I'm broke I'm broke I'm broke I'm broke you you're broke you say I'm ugly I'm ugly I'm ugly and you're ugly you say I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty you're, you 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 become what you say yeah. and if you begin now to hear the word that is being spoken over your life mm. God has given you you a supernatural connection yep. to glory yep. to understand that the seed that he placed in your hand is to sow in the soil, uh, the fertile soil that's going to bring you a harvest right. of a forest. Right. And in this season, accumulation is going to be the key. Mm -hmm. Bring the tithe and the offering into the storehouse that there may be surplus meat in my house and prove me see here with that I open to you the windows of heaven. The message Bible says the floodgates open to you the windows of heaven and pour you out blessings that there shall not be room enough for you to receive. Mm -hmm. I want you to know in this season that the blessings that are coming is not going to be small. The blessings that are coming is yes, going to be God. not room enough yes, for you God. to receive. Yes, God. There's a deacon inside yes, my God. church who was stingy and cheap 
and refused to give offering. And I began to work with him and pray for him, pray yes. for him. Yes. And I began to pray for him. He started his little business. His business was going. He started making money. But I noticed that his tithe did not come up. So I went to him and I said, you know, you know he said, well, he, he got smart when he said, well, you got to pray for me that the Lord would help me. He had gone from making, it's like $200 a week right. all the way up to about $2,500 right. a week. Right. And his tithe didn't change. And he says, well, you know, this is what I paid myself. And he said, pray for me that the Lord would bring me to that place. So I grabbed his sleeve and I prayed yes. for him yes. now. I said, Lord, remind him right of what you have done for him. Yes, yeah. Things began to happen Ooh. to him. And he started sowing his seed and paying his tithe. Right. Uh, his sons came and they gave him a blessing. They brought him a big screen TV, but they couldn't get the screen TV inside the house oh because the living room was too small to accommodate on, the TV. Bishop. He came to me, he said, Bishop, on, this Bishop. tithing thing works. Yeah. I don't have room yeah, enough right. to receive it. That's right. <laughs> it happened to him. It, it's something as small yeah. as that. I come to tell you that in this season, every area of conflict that is around you, God is going to help you in this season with accumulation. accumulation. You're going to have more than enough. enough. You're going to need a storehouse. You're going to need, you're going to need storage because it's coming in abundance. Wow. Prepare yourself to sow a seed today that is going to literally, literally, literally change your life. Yeah. And you're looking at it. You know what my mother told me? She said, son, get a seed, get a sow seed. a seed, and and watch God, watch God place a demand on Ooh. the seed. Where there is no seed in the ground, there can be no harvest. No. There are far too many of you going around believing God for something that is not there. Right. Get the seed. And guess what? You don't even have to get the seed. He gives seed to the to sower. The and if you don't have seed, it's because he knows you're not, you're not going to sow. sow. Amen. He only gives seed to Amen. sower. So we rebuke that spirit in yes. your life right now and command you to get up and take the seed that God has given you. That seed of 50, that get seed up. of 100, that seed of 1,000. There's businessmen that are watching and business women that are watching right now, and your business have been challenged. You've come to the end of Talk that challenge him. right now in him. the name of Jesus. Your faithful seed, that uncommon seed yes. of $1,000, yes. and there are 10 of you watching me right, right this now. moment. I'm not making this up. It's being downloaded yes. to me from glory. Yes. There are 10 of you watching right now. When you sow this seed, you're going to experience a seven-day miracle. God wow. is going to shift things yeah. in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Even your debt that you've been carrying is going to be released from you in seven days in the name of Jesus. You do know, you do know that the Bible refers to the enemy not as the devil. The Bible refers to the enemy as debt. Debt is an enemy. Debt is an enemy, but I come against debt. Yes. I come against agree, lack. Lord. I come against lack yes. right now and debt. And I decree and declare that you can do far better with 90% yes, by giving God his 10 Woo. than you can do with 100 Preach by stealing it from God. When you don't give God what belongs to him, yeah. the elements takes it away from Woo. you. It's the only place in the Bible where God actually says, pay me ah. and I will keep you covered. Yes. It's supernatural insurance. Yes, it as is. you sow that seed yes, and pay is. that tithe, yes, watch is. God rebuke the devourer over your Woo. life. This is a time for you to go to some place where it's just destituted right. and desolate right. and nothing is growing there. And everybody is saying it can't happen for you. And everybody that tried to make it work, it didn't work for. The minute you get there, the entire ground is going to begin to alter itself. <laughs> to meet your need. Oh. It is happening right, right now. now. But you have to activate the seed yes. of accumulation. Yes. I want to call it that. Do the it. Seed, seed of, of accumulation. accumulation. The seed. Can you say it with me? The, the seed, seed of, accumulation. of accumulation. We release the yes, seed God. of accumulation right now. 50, 100, 1,000 right now Jesus. in the name of Jesus. A sacrifice is never me measured by how much is given. No. A sacrifice is always measured by how much you have left. Yep. So if you have more left than you have given, you have not sacrificed. This is your season oh, to release that seed of accumulation, accumulation right now. The seed of accumulation. Ah, up. By God, how the body of Christ needs to get a hold of that. How we need to get a hold of that. The seed of accumulation. That's what Jesus was, wasn't it? God needed all of us. How many of you are in the kingdom of God? You're born again. You're going to heaven. You're sons and daughters of God. 
Well, where did you come from? You came Woo! from a seed of accumulation. My God. God needed a family. He sowed a son. My God. The seed of accumulation. It's so anointed right now, Bishop. It's so anointed. I see you coming out of need and into abundance. My God. I'm tired of you using your faith to get a bill paid. My God. That's not God's will not for God's you. Will. It's not God's will for you businessmen, for you pastor, who are some of the worst, who are always believing God, believing God, believing God to only get enough, Jesus. just enough. This is the time of more than enough, overflow, double for your trouble. Let's believe it. Look, if you don't have anything, you might as well believe for everything. So that $1,000 seed, that $1,000 seed of accumulation, My God. do it today. So that $100 seed, $50 seed, it is a seed of accumulation. Text BT seed to 45777. Write to me or just pick up your phone. Go to ronparsley.com. Accumulation seed. Experience the miracle working power of a resurrection seed as we celebrate that God gave his very best by sowing our very best resurrection seed this one time every year. Unlock the door to your greatest miracle by sowing before Easter Sunday. For your resurrection seed of $100 or more, Dr. Rod Parsley wants to bless you with his new book, Resurrection Reality taking you behind the scenes into the origins of this life-changing revelation. You'll understand the power you have today because of the resurrection. You'll also receive his new multi-disc ministry set, Resurrection Seed Acceleration, on both CD and DVD. Two new messages of resurrection power and Ashton Parsley's insightful interview about the exciting history of Resurrection Seed. Plus, the classic sermon series that opened the door to this remarkable move of God, The Laws of Sowing and Reaping on six CDs. Rush your uncommon seed of $1,000 or more into the ground and your name or that of a loved one will be engraved as a lasting legacy at the magnificent Calvary Memorial. And you'll also receive a keepsake replica for your home or office. When you sow $50 or more, you'll receive both Dr. Parsley's new book and ministry series. Everyone who sows their very best resurrection seed will receive Dr. Parsley's new book, Resurrection Reality. Don't delay. Write, call, or text BTC to 45777 with your very best resurrection miracle seed. George Bloomer, the seed of accumulation. You yes. better get that published Woo! before I take it. Yeah. I need you to send me your most urgent prayer request. I want to put them on the prayer altar on Easter Sunday resurrection morning so you and I can agree together and release our faith that as you've sown your seed of accumulation, God is releasing your miracle. I'll see you next time right here where we're believing God for great accumulation to come to your life on your new breakthrough. The ministry of Rod Parsley continues next on social media. Links to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are on rodparsley.com. UHC Life. When you serve in, never look for a thank you, look for a need. It truly is showing the heart of the Father, showing the heart of Jesus. Every single thing that he did was to serve others and to push forward the kingdom of God, whether that was through the messages that he taught or the miracles that he performed. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. Whatever you did for one of the least of these, you've done it unto me. Though Abaco this past summer, it was amazing. Where um, about 15 of us went to Abaco, Bahamas, and we served. To be part of that experience was definitely God-ordained. My heart is overwhelmed by 
what, what we accomplished over there. It was the most rewarding thing to me was to see a smile on a child's face, to have them call your name and remember you when you came back the next day. The righteous gives and does not hold back. Went to the neighborhoods and the, the broken homes and the broken street corners and just to see life out there and to give hope to those communities, to give hope to those people who need it. You remember that there's somebody else out there that's waiting on your obedience, that there's somebody else out there who is sharing the same story as you, but you overcame, and because you overcame, you know that person can overcome too. Which is so difficult in the culture that we live in today, where everything is about me and how I can get more and faster and how I can be greater. But as we lower ourselves and allow others to be elevated in our lives and really take on that character of Jesus, and what, what better place to do it, you know, than in the streets, you know, the people need the gospel, didn't hear the gospel. People need to see the love of God through us and through me to just go out there and just show, you know, the true love of God. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord your God, which he has given you. Love, love will only conquer those tragedies and those events out there that destroy families and destroy homes, communities, cities, world, and countries. My goal is to be the reflection of Jesus and to be the only Jesus that this world is ever going to see. A small gesture can change a person's life dramatically more than you understand when you're obedient to what God is asking you to do in that moment. Our servanthood will be the thing that changes this world. It won't be a politician. It won't be a program. It'll be the fact that we're showing the love of God to our neighbors, our friends, our family members, our loved ones. It's not about changing the world. It's about changing your world. On Twitter, if you don't have it, get it. Facebook, if you don't have it, get it. Instagram, if you don't have it, get it. I don't want you to have it so you can gossip. I want you to have it to preach this gospel. God is moving by His Spirit. He's given you all that to broadcast it. He said to me, on every platform. When, uh, when I was a kid, I was about 13 years old, and my mom had cancer, she had a tumor, and uh, it made her very violent. And she get to be very abusive. And I'd never heard the gospel preached. I'd never heard about Jesus. But late one night I was watching TV and I heard you preaching the gospel. And my mom said, don't watch that guy. It's not good for you. And so I'd record you on a little Walkman and I'd hide in the closet when things got bad. Before you know it, I come to know Jesus. And I kept listening to you, and then I went with my friend Blake this year, and I started re-preaching everything I'd hear you preach in our school, and miracles and signs and wonders started happening. Preaching the gospel to the nations, restoring hope to the hopeless, preparing the next generation. This is Rod Parsley TV. This is what God says. Forget about what's happened. Don't keep going over old history. Be alert, be present. I'm about to do something brand new. It's bursting out, don't you see it? There it is. I'm making a road through the desert, rivers through the badlands. God wants me to tell someone who is tired of life and all that is thrown your way to hold on just hold on. I keep hearing, hold on just a little while longer. I'm telling you something, the night is always darkest right before dawn. He is going to hold you together through the storm and you are going to live to see the sun shine on the next season of your life. Going to repeat this after me wherever you are. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I was there 
in the former Soviet Union. The day that they are taking sledgehammers and beating to pieces the statue of Lenin. I watched three people, the least of which had been in a wheelchair for 20 years, get up and run around that 22,000 seat arena. I watched an entire battalion of the Red Army in their uniforms come from the top balconies, give their lives to Christ. I watched them go out in the city streets and stop city buses and share what had just happened to them, made altars out of the bus seats, and they went into the altars and got baptized in the Holy Ghost. If we can have that with me preaching in Leningrad, why can't we have it in Columbus? UHC Life. When you serve in, never look for a thank you, look for a need. It truly is showing the heart of the Father, showing the heart of Jesus. Every single thing that he did was to serve others and to push forward the kingdom of God, whether that was through the messages that he taught or the miracles that he performed. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. Whatever you did for one of the least of these, you've done it unto me. Though Abaco this past summer, it was amazing. Where um, about 15 of us went to Abaco, Bahamas, and we served. To be part of that experience was definitely God ordained. My heart is so overwhelmed by what, what we have accomplished over there. It was the most rewarding thing to me was to see a smile on a child's face, to have them call your name and remember you when you came back the next day. The righteous gives and does not hold back. Went to the neighborhoods and the, the broken homes and the broken street corners and just to see life out there and to give hope to those communities, to give hope to those people who need it. You remember that there's somebody else out there that's waiting on your obedience. That there's somebody else out there who is sharing the same story as you, but you.